Hello, 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 my most amazing artist. I'm really excited to do a new project with you today. Now today is Tuesday, May 5th, also known as Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is another language which is known as Spanish, and it means the 5th of May. Now, in Mexico, in, on May 5th in 1862, one of their armies won a war against France um, on the debate of them owing money to them. So they won this war and now it's celebrated as an important day for victory. Now it's not widely celebrated in Mexico, like not every part of it does. Certain areas do, like areas of Pueblo, which is where the uh, Pueblo, which is where the war took place. But in America, we celebrate it to honor the culture and the history of Mexico. So we're gonna do a fun little project. Now, if you have some construction paper available today, you get to make a little um, cut out. So you can make a cut out cacti, cactus actually, because it's only one. Uh, the word cacti is plural for lots of cactus. And it's gonna be wearing a sombrero. Now sombrero, boys and girls, is a, is a type of Mexican hat. It actually comes from the Spanish word sombra, which stands for, uh, which means shade or shadows. So it's, it's made and worn to protect them from the sun and other elements in the environment. Here are real pictures of real sombreros. So they're very large hats and you have lots of protection from that sun. Now, if you don't have colored construction paper at home to make this cutout um, cactus, you can also do a drawing instead. You can do the same thing, or if you don't have the colored paper, you can do the drawing on white paper. You could also cut this out if you wanted to as well. Now, um, so the supply you're gonna need, if you have the colored construction paper, you're gonna need that, colored construction paper. You're gonna need um, scissors, some type of glue, like glue stick is what I used and a black Sharpie marker and some crayons. If you don't have color construction paper, then you'll just need some white paper, the marker and the crayons. So let's get started. Now you're gonna start with your paper for your cactus. Now I'm gonna do the drawing of the cactus on the white paper if you don't have color construction. Then I'll do the other one on the green paper. So you're gonna choose one or the other. So what I'm doing on the green paper is drawing a rainbow arch type line to start my whole body of the cactus. And now I'm going to draw a little bit of a curved line at the bottom of it. Now on the white paper, I'm going to start with a horizontal line that's slightly kind of rounded or curved. This is going to be the um, hat coming down over the cactus. Now I'm going to draw a line from the bottom all the way to the bottom on each side. Now I'm going to add the arms or the sort of like branches off of the cactus. So I'm just doing a little bit. It's like a, you start with a curved line and then you roll around. I'm going to do one on each side to represent like an arm and a hand for a cactus for the character. So I'll do another one a little bit lower on the other side. I'll do the same thing in my drawing for the um, coloring sheet. I'm just gonna add some lines in the arms, like two on each one. Now I'm gonna go over to the other arm and and then and do the same thing on my drawing. This is gonna represent texture in the cactus. Now I'm gonna make the face for the cactus. And what I'm doing is I'm drawing the eyes kind of far apart to give them that real cartoon type feel. And I draw little circles on the inside of each one, color the black around and leave the circles, the color of the paper underneath. Now I'm adding some little curved lines for some cute arched eyebrows. And then I'm gonna draw a little smile line. It's just a curved line for the mouth. Then I really like to add cute little cheeks on my cactus, so I'm gonna make two circles on each side of the mouth for cheeks. Nice little rosy cheeks. 
Now I'm going to add more of those texture lines down the main body of the cactus. So just a little line going down each side on each one of those cactus. Now I'm just going to add little lines all over my cactus to represent the needles that poke out and can oh, out hurt your little finger. Now before I add the needles on there, on this drawing, I'm going to add some rocks at the very bottom. And I'm just basically making a curved line and then a straight horizontal at the bottom of it. That's just going to include some rocks that the cactus is just kind of buried into in the ground. Now on this cactus, I'm going to color in the little details like the cheeks. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white in the eyes. Now in my drawing, I'm going to go back and create the sombrero. So I'm drawing a curved line from one side to the other. I could probably get mine to go out a little bit further on the one side, but now I'm going to add a curved line only at the top. That's the brim of the sombrero. And I'm going to add a little detail of a zigzag decoration to this um, brim of the hat. You can do whatever you like. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of a curved line or maybe upside down rounded triangle for the top of the sombrero. Now I'm also going to add some stripes for some more decor and detail in the sombrero. For the drawing, I'm just going to go ahead and color and add details to my beautiful drawing and this one will be all done. Think of it like a little coloring sheet. Take your time. You can take your crayon and color darker areas, add shading to it, layer crayon on top of crayon, um, whatever you want. Now I'm going to go back to the green paper and I'm going to cut out my cactus. Now you really got to be careful when you're cutting these out. You don't want to cut the arms off of the body of the cactus. So make sure you go around those things. Now it's all cut out and this is what you have. Now I'm going to take a yellow piece of paper. You can use whatever color you want for your sombrero. I just like to do yellow. And I'm going to first start by um, marking where the hat is gonna go on the cactus head. So I'm making a little line at the top there. This is gonna be like the part that's sitting on the head. And then I'm gonna mark the sides where it falls on the um, head and draw my curve line like I did with my other cactus drawing. Now I'm gonna move that. Now here, finish that line. And I'm gonna make a straight line across horizontally and then on the sides, I'm just going to make a straight line down, vertical lines. That's where it's going to go on top of the head. Now, I'll, once again, I'll make a curved line for the brim of the sombrero. And then a little decoration right at the top. And you can do whatever one you like. It doesn't have to be zigzags. It could be polka dots, it could be stripes, it could be plain. Now I'm gonna once again do that um, curve line, looks like a triangle that's rounded at the top, and some striping in it for some extra details in the hat. Now I'm gonna take some crayons and just add a little bit of detail like I did with the other hat. I'm gonna add some red and I'm gonna add some green to it. Now, once I have that all set, I'm gonna cut up the sombrero so I can glue it onto my cactus. Now, pay attention to how you cut this so that you don't cut the wrong lines. Now I'm gonna go around on the one side and all the way around. Don't cut the top of the sombrero off. You gotta really be careful. So when you come here, you gotta go up and then continue to cut around to the other side. Now when you come up here, you're gonna cut inside the lines a little bit, just those lines that you drew. So this will go on, fit on top of the cactus real nice and pull that out. So this is the shape that you have when you're all done cutting it out. And 
Scare Cactus and fit that on there real nicely. And I'm just gonna take a glue stick and put it on the top of the cactus head above the eyes. And then I'll place the sombrero right on top of that. And then I rub that into place and there you go. A cute little Senko de Mayo cactus. Hope you really enjoyed today, guys, whether you did the cutout or the color. We'll see you next time on Thursday. Enjoy!